October 14th, 5.31 p.m. Wright & Co. Law Offices. That rocked. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Whoa, stop waving that broom around. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? What the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17, see? I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Come watch it with me. He's really cool, and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Gramps. Well, the Steel Samurai's over. Guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Oomph. October 16th, 8.14am, Phoenix Wright's Bedroom. Hello? This is Phoenix. Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on the show? Yes! They're saying the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. No, I mean he actually did it. In real life. He skewered a villain with his samurai spear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick. Please, Nick. October 16th, 9.22 a.m. Wright & Co. Law Offices. Maya's here, watching now, television. Morning. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon, and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over. The world is over. Yes, right in cold offices. What? Nick! It's the Steel Samurai! What? Yes? Yes, of course! We'll be right there! Let's go, Nick! Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention! So what? So I've decided this will be our first case! Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about open games and today we're gonna be playing! Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and finished up case two, put red white behind bars, and in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and defend the Steel Samurai. So let's go ahead and just talk with Maya. See, a staple in the Ace Attorney series is that whenever you go to the Wright & Co. Law offices or whenever you start out there, you have your assistant character here. In this game, it's Maya. And in other games, they can sometimes change that. Uh, and you always have the basic what to do and any ideas option. So I'll always look through these just to see if there's any funny dialogue. What to do? Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai. Does she want to investigate this case, case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? My money's on sightseeing. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. We have our attorney's badge. What about this? You like showing that thing off, don't you, Nick? My poor, poor ego. <laughs> so let's go ahead and examine some stuff. 
we've got the poetry window, as I like to call it. It's a nice day outside. The hotel across the way is always full these days. There's the bellboy, happily cleaning the room. We have the plant right here. Mia's favorite plotted, potted plant. Maya's been watering it so much lately and it looks a little swollen. She's either trying to make it grow, or she's perfecting her water torture technique. A poster of an old movie that Mia liked. I was thinking I should go see it myself, then I realized that the poster didn't actually see the title of the movie. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is the thought that I have to read all of these now. So yeah, that's a reference to, if you examine it in the last case, he's like, the, the scary thought is that Mia read all of these, and so now that's a callback. Mia's desk. Actually, it's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. So yeah, this takes place a month after the previous case in October. The last one was in September. Uh, but yeah, that's all, about all we have to do here at the law offices, so let's go to the detention center. October 16th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client. That's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. Whoa, 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 what are you saying? Um, y yes? Something wrong? N no, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed? Oh, no, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask... I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. And back to the sad music. Uh, we have the security camera. Smile for the camera, as always. And then security guard. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He seems frozen in awe of Will Powers. What happened? Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. E yes of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 o'clock that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 o'clock in the afternoon. But when 5 o'clock came around, and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He had, he had been expertly skewed with the samurai spear. A samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I... That the steel samurai uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me just what the steel samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? I I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kid's show. He walks the streets of Neo-Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the crying thing. Neo-Old Tokyo, who comes up with these names? Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to... St I think it, it's supposed to say came to the studios? At 9 o'clock, we worked through some action sequences until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5 o'clock, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. 
When I woke up, it was fi after five o'clock. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So you were sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. What will the kids think? <laughs> I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Alright. Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go! I'm willing to bet ten bucks she asks for autographs. Have you ever seen my... Uh, Derny's badge? Um, here. I... I see. Let me guess, this guy wasn't the top student in improv class. Let's head to the studio main gate. Oh god, I know what character I have to voice, and I don't know if I want to voice them. Hold on, let me just... Hello, Sonny! I can't do it. Ah! Leper snapper. I can't do an old lady voice. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome, aren't you excited? Hey, you there! You want in, you gotta go through me! Uh, oh, sorry. We're, we're, um, lawyers. Oh yeah, well that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure you gawkers like you stay out. Ugh. Gawkers. Gawkers. Sightseers. Tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Um, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know, it's possible. Hey! Who's someone you're being spoken to? Youths today! Yeah, I can't do an old lady voice, so that's the best you're gonna get. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Oh, wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villain roles now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Well, old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to Bar Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jack Hammer would live on in many arts as the ultimate action hero. It was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard about that? <laughs> but there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain role on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 5 o'clock when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place was was to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 o'clock and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. I thought you were suspicious looking. 
show me a letter of request, and maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. See, so yeah, how about my attorney's badge? What's that? You giving that to me? Absolutely not. Let's go ahead and examine some stuff as, as usual. Got this van here. It looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. Got the gate. Main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. An overhead map of the studios. Right here, right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. The computer that runs the, secu the studio security cameras. Hey, no touching! Yeah, not much we can do here for now. Gotta go back to the detention center and talk to Mr. Powers. Hello, how's the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? N no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> so, your alibi. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I'd, I'd never do that. Just now you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady said she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading toward the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I... I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business and I need every advantage I can get. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I swear to you on my mama's grave I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me? What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Speaking of the security lady... About the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yes, actually she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, I believe her words were. She sucks up to all the big wigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. Eh, she's got some real nerve. You think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Uh, of course. I just hope this will get me past the security lady. There's not much to say in these parts because this is sort of just going back and forth and talking to people. Powers letter. Ma'am, I have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize the bold childish scrawl. Gave Powers request to the security lady. To think you would entrust his fate to youths of such an unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass, but only left from here, towards the studios. No going to the right, that's the employee area. No one allowed inside- No one allowed inside, pal. Or my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. Fifty cents! So yeah, we know who's about to come up now, and it's not going to be any easier on my voice. October 16th, Studio One entrance. Hey! Aren't you that Moira from the other day? Ah! It's that confused detective! Hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Uh, 
um, detective? I think you were just feelings. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. I'd say he's a character, all right. So yeah, Detective Gumshoe's here. Investigation. So, how is your investigation going, Detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right, so, Detective, mind if I take a look at what you've got? What I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Reason for arrest. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murderer took the murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now the victim entered Studio One at approximately one o'clock p.m. Right at that time, there's no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2:30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between one o'clock and 2:30, and that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up, Maya. About the security lady. Oh, sw that sweet old lady. What a drama. Huh? Uh, are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me donut and a, a donut that's coffee. Remember what Powers said, she's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? Decisive evidence. What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. The photo that steals him right heading toward the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up on the gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence! We're finished! Funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Oh ho 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 ho! Um, I'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal! Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Ha ha ha! Glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We've got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. And we'll go ahead and check things out next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue on with case three. We're going to see what other employees were there and hopefully see if we can get closer to the truth. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!